Come on, easy. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Good pull. Tighten up on that drag a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good brim. Good brim. Bit it good too. Come on up here. Let's show you off. Pretty fish. Swallowed it. Oh. Maybe I'm in that. No, oh, not in that socket. There we go. Good bite, good hit. Nice hit on the Panfish Elite from Bass Pro Shops. Very nice rod, six foot. And I'm fishing with a Dahlia Acceler 1000D. Very smooth. Drag's not as loud as the Shimano. I wish it was. Cause I like to hear them peel off that drag. There we go, number two. Yeah, good, good brim. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep, good size bit in about the same spot. All right, now easy. There we go. I'm fishing with a paddle tail. It's kind of crappy grub with a beetle spin. I think that's a one six, nah, it's probably a one eight head. Chip out, check out the tip of the panfish elite. Very, very tiny eyelets. Very delicate. Nice to feel those little soft bites. Yep, there we go. Hooked up already. Another good panfish. Yep. A little bit smaller. Yep.
Got him right through the nose. All right, easy, baby. Catch them a little further down than I usually do. He won't quite as be. That's okay though. I still enjoy the fight. You can short chunk it a ways. About the most I've been able to measure on this with an eighth of an ounce is about 27 yards of casting distance with six pound test. Really charge that rod tip, give her a good fling. What are you doing, Hizzer? Oh, a little school of bass. They just tried to hit it. They are club dink. Oh, 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 man, that got smashed twice. Need to come through there again. That was some good solid hits. Can't believe he missed it. That is one thing I would change about the Panfish Elite is where this piece is right here. Where you put your hook in, your hook keeper. It's right where I want to put my finger. There's a bite. Can't tell, but yeah, I got a fish on. Must be a brim. Yeah. Yep, not a real big one. Fun nonetheless. Right on top of the lip. Right out there by that old dead tree. Well, I guess it ain't all that dead. I can't snatch another one. Couldn't tell he was on all the way. Felt like I run into a little algae. Oh man, oh man, I let him fall. Holy cow, it must be a bass. He must have been following it in. Oh! Wow, he was following it in. I slowed it down and he nailed it. And I had my drag set too light. Probably was not a good hook set. Go right at the edge of this bed of algae and see if I can't. Snag one off of that. Yep, yep, yep. Got to be a bass. Holy cow. He ripped it. He's going to drag me down in the grass. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead, show off for the camera. Right in the side of the mouth. Not bad. Now, time to 
clean the pond salad off. Paddle tail does make a difference. I picked that up from some fella that fishes in Florida on YouTube. Don't remember his channel name, but that little jingle in the back right there usually gets a little bit more production. We'll try that again because there's typically more than one bass. Let's see if I go out in front of that grass bed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, oh yeah, he wants to throw it. Yeah, he's got me hung up in some grass. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, he, he got it on back in there. Yeah, he won't go nowhere when he tried to throw it. He unbuckled the spin and everything. I'm gonna have to go to my Leatherman. Hmm. Mm, that is in a bad spot. There we go. He's bleeding a little bit. There you go. They don't hook them that deep. If I can't pull another one off of there, they're just as fun to fight as the bluegill. Yep, look at there. Another one right off that point of that grass. At least he didn't bite it as deep. Yep, that little bit of spin is working well. Pretty good little bass. Oh man, oh man, that was a good one. And he's turned it loose. No hook set. Panfish Elite Rod ain't quite got the backbone that a medium rod does. The action's fast, so the tip bends really quick. Mm, look at there. He come up there and hammered it. And I missed him. Bad gun it. Yep, look at him hit it. Yep, we on now, we on. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. About the same size. Yep, not bad, not bad. Oh. Izzard. What are you doing? You coming down here to help me? Good grief. Right, and snagged him right in the edge and it poked through the tail. Yeah, he's a little bit better. There you go. 
Geil. Mmh. Mmh. Get me all hung up, all kinds of grass. Corner of the mouth. That was a good one. If I can just get it past that bracket, that hard shell. There we go. It's a delicious pond salad over there. Oh, oh, oh. You need a beetle spin. If you open up the passenger door of the truck, there will be a beetle spin box. Should I bring the box here? No. Just go in there and pick a beetle spin out. What do you got here? Bass. Uh, I probably got another one rigged up like this. You got a <clears throat> reel them in pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I think I just had a try. Yeah, definitely. Yep, 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 yep. Wow, he kept coming. Kept coming. Boy, he's... Oh, the big bass is after him. Holy cow. You see the big bass? <clears throat> Hopefully, that was on film. Oh, my golly. Settle down, bro. But you right behind that hard plate, too. Good grief. There we go. You buy was Big Bass Baby's uh, supper. Now, let's see. If I'm out of the pond south that I can catch something over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He pile drived it coming across the top of that grass. Yeah. That was a good one. Oh! Wow. Okay, he just got away with my bait. It come off of the piece right there. Well, that sucks. I guess I gotta go back to the truck and rig me up another one. May have to work on bending that to get it to hook right. Well, that sucks. 
Izzard! What are you doing? What are you doing, Izzard? Time to rig up another beetle stand. See what we got here. I think I may go with one of those guys. Another one of my purple chartreuse tails. To rig it up where the tail is up and flapping. Close that up a bit and see if that'll stay. Yeah, let's see. There we go. All down and around. He's a little longer than the last one. I had to cut a little bit off. Got him? I think you do. Well, you better you better concentrate on what you're doing. Keep reeling. Mm-hmm. He gonna fight you. Now reach down there and get him. Mm-hmm. Now hook him in the mouth and unhook that bait. See what you got. No. Why? Reach down in and hook him in the mouth. You gotta hook him deep. There you go. Now unhook that bait, grab it by the jig head. Easy off. You get tangled up in the line. <clears throat> you probably got him hooked in that hard part. Okay, let me see him. Get out the line. Here, it popped right out. Get them now. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, that's good. Come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. There he is. Mm, ripping that drag. They're powerful. Got him right in the top of the lip. At a funny angle. There we go. To the deep water. bite in the deep water. There's one. I just got it out of my mouth that I didn't want to bite, and here we are. We hooked up. It's like a good brim. Yeah, he's trying to get rid of it. Yeah, nice, nice one. Nice tiger striping peach breast. Yeah, look at there. Big girl, I guess. There's a bite, there's a bite, yes sir. Got some big raindrops. Just 
gliding through the water. You ain't gonna fight none, are you? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice peach breast. And he swallowed it. He, she, you know, I don't know a lot about sex of a brim. Yeah, it's a good combination right there. So the Apple Watch probably thinks that uh, I'm doing some amazing workout because I reel with my left hand. Yeah, look at there. She thinks I've done 24 minutes of exercise. Bam, yes sir, right in that corner. I believe that's a bass. Mm, maybe it's a bream. Yeah, it's a panfish. Ooh, rip it. Mm -mm. I'll get hung up in the fins. All right. Hold still and I'll take you back. Mm. Got hooked around the outside in two places. I love a good panfish bite. Especially on a rod that's designed for it. Makes it feel like you're fighting a whopper. <laughs> 